preseason number two in the West. Golden Tigers of Tuskegee. Last year they were four and three in the conference play, four and six overall. Six best scoring team in the SIAC, averaging 18 points a ball game. They had the fewest penalties in the conference. They were the number five rushing offense, and they were number three in points allowed, averaging about 19 a game. I present to you head coach Willie Slater. Slater, good to see you as always. I told you, we're not, we're not going to be bad. We're not going to be bad today. We're going to be good today. But I know, I know it had to be a very frustrating season by Tuskegee standards to finish the year four and six. Yeah, it was a tough year. Um, I thought that uh, we could have possibly won every game we played. That's, that, that's what makes it uh, so frustrating. But uh, just didn't do a good job coaching. That's, that's the only thing I can blame it on. Uh, I know at the beginning of the year we didn't we didn't prepare to be a uh, we didn't initially prepare to be a young team. We didn't come in prepared like we were a young team. And then we had a couple of uh, injuries on the offensive line with a couple of seniors that's been playing. And then we were expecting to play one freshman, you know, on the offensive line, but we wasn't expecting to have to play three. So uh, that made a big difference. Then we uh, we had a we had an experienced quarterback, we had a transfer quarterback that had experience. Uh, so we wasn't prepared for a freshman quarterback to play. So, uh, and then uh, about the third game, we were playing a freshman quarterback. So uh, the preparation for, for the season, I think I did a poor job of, uh, of preparing our team, especially early in the season. But I think we got better and better as the year went on. But, uh, you know, obviously, uh, that's, that's not uh, Tuskegee standards. Well, with the fact that you did play a lot of young guys, the good thing about some of those young guys that have a little bit of oldness, so is there, is there more maturity, or does it appear to be more maturity, more maturity as we start this season? Well, I'm really excited about this group. Really excited about this group of players. Uh, you know, we, we have to play young guys, and, and I know, I, I was just saying, Coach Ruffin, he played a lot of freshmen. And, I mean, basically everybody played a lot of freshmen. But, uh, the problem with that is uh, they don't make freshman mistakes. And uh, can you overcome that and win games even though they make those freshman mistakes? But uh, I'm, I'm excited about this group. You know, the other thing is, you know, when you, when you bring in freshmen, they don't go through the off-season programs. They don't, they don't, uh, they really don't understand. And uh, that's, I guess that's why I'm so amazed. Again, talking about Coach Ruffin, I, got, I know Coach Ruffin, you know, we coached together for a long time. But uh, it's amazing to me to see how he took his freshman, and you know, and they were able to win football games, and they didn't go through his offseason program. But uh, I'm excited about this group because now they've got a chance to go through our program, and uh, I, I see a lot of improvement in And uh, excited about this year. We'll see what see what's going to happen. We're excited to watch him play. You've got an interesting non-conference schedule. You've got Johnson C. Smith, obviously the Alabama State game, the Turkey Day Classic, and the uh, I think Alabama and the from down the state from the beginning of the season. So how, how does this team kind of continue to grow and, and not let the frustrations or the disappointment of last year seep in with an early season, a ton of difficult schedule? Yeah, we, we have a test. I mean, we have a, a, a really good test early in the year. Playing the Alabama, Alabama Indian right off the bat, that one of the best schools in the swag. And then, of course, having played Johnson C. Smith, and of course, you know what they did to Coach Ruffin, they kind of did So, I mean, and then we come right off the bat uh, playing, playing Miami. So, it's going to be a tough schedule for us. Uh, but we're excited about that. You know, that's going to that's gonna give us uh, a measure of a whole book going about pretty early. So, uh, I think it's something. That's great to shoot for. Uh, and I think our kids are excited about it as well. Any young people that we can look forward to watching? I know defensive lineman Aaron Bennett was one of the guys that's on preseason pick, but other than Bennett, are there some young players that we can expect to hear some good things from out of Tuskegee University? Well, I, I mean, I'm hoping that we have, <laughs> that we hear from uh, a lot of good uh, players on our team. You know, we, uh, uh, have Jamar Hornsby that plays uh, free safety. I think he's a really good player. We, uh, we have uh, William Buford. You know, he's a, he's a, what, a three or four-year starter for us that plays strong safety. 
uh, on the defensive side of the ball. We have some uh, young linebackers that got to play some last year, like Emily Chen. Uh, they'll be coming back. He's, you know, he's already got his feet wet. wet excited, excited about him. We got the men. We have actually three minute brothers. You know, all of them play defensive line. And, and, uh, excited about them. You know, they, they've had a great offseason program. Uh, so on the defensive side of the ball, really excited. On the offensive side of the ball, uh, we got our freshman quarterback back. And uh, was we recruited to a couple of quarterbacks. And junior college transfer, excited about them. Uh, we got our offensive line back. Those two seniors that, that were out because of injuries last year, we got them back. So uh, uh, excited. And I got a chance. I can tell, I can tell. Anybody from Tuskegee with you that you'd like to recognize? Oh, yes, uh, first we have our uh, UAD, uh, Mr. Patrick Simon is here. Uh, Mr. Arnold Houston, who's retired uh, at the end of this month. Oh. Yeah, this ID has done a great job, made my job easy. Uh, Coach Joe Carter is our defensive coordinator. Oh, I was talking to you before I'm forgetting. I think that you have a uh, running back now, uh, Pippen. He's he what's his status with Denver? I think he signed a free agent with him. Yeah, I know, he, I know he's working out. I haven't talked to him in the last couple of weeks, though. <laughs> so I don't know exactly how it's going with him. But, uh, man, what a great kid. We're going to miss him. <laughs> I to say that. Well, I can tell you're excited about the season. Again, we look forward to watching you play. As I mentioned a moment ago, the coach, you know, that October 6th game against Morehouse is always a, is a special treat in HBCU sports, the 7th, 7th, 7th annual Tuskegee Morehouse and Morehouse Tuskegee. I guess it depends on the one the game and pass you. It's called first classic in uh, down in Columbus, Georgia. Coach Willie Slater, preseason pick number two in the SIAC West. Tuskegee, the Golden Tigers. Coach, good luck to you. Thank you.